Recently, I was studying about manufacturing process of glass bottles, how glass bottles are made, what is the process. Then I searched this topic on YouTube. A lot of industrial videos are available which is actually showing how glass bottles are made. But you know what, for a student like me, those kind of videos end up a little bit boring or we may say less engaging. So as usual, I started watching entertaining videos on YouTube. Okay, so let me know how many times does it happen with you as well that you open the application of YouTube for some kind of a studious work and end up watching some kind of entertaining videos. Let me know in the comment section. So as I said, those videos are not engaging, not for everyone. So I just thought why not to explain this topic in my own way, not as a lecturer, not as a professor. I am going to explain this topic like I am describing these simple basic things to my friend. So let's understand how glass bottles are manufactured or made. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So hello guys, my name is Trans. I'm a third year student of BTEC Food Technology and on this YouTube channel you will get all in this kind of informative awesome videos. Okay, so for the manufacturing of anything, raw materials are required. And what is raw material? These are the simple basic material which is required for the production of any goods, any product. So in the case of glass bottle production, raw materials are first silica, second limestone, Collet. Here collet is nothing but the recycled glass which is generally used to lower the melting temperature and also if we will use recycled glass that is collet then the overall pricing of the glass bottles decreases. So collet is important which is a recycled glass. After the collection of the raw material, silica, limestone, collet, all the ingredients are mixed together and delivered to the furnace. Here we have to understand that all the raw material, collet, limestone, silica are not passed directly to the furnace in batch it is delivered which means a particular amount or a specific amount of raw material which is mixed is delivered to the furnace and the furnace operate at the temperature of 1500 degrees celsius approximately by using this high temperature the raw material which is mixed will melt obviously so what we have learned till now selection of the raw material silica limestone collet collet is nothing but the recycled glass mixing of these raw material passing it to the furnace batch wise the temperature of the furnace is 1500 degrees celsius approximately and obviously if we will apply such a high temperature then definitely the mixture of the raw material will melt in the form of gel which is called molten glass from here the molten glass is passed through the refiner and four heart for what purpose for the purpose of shape formation see we all know that glass bottles are having specific shape and size now talking about the shapes there are two types of shape first normal bottles which is having narrow neck in which soft drinks are packed different beverages like wine and whiskey are packed and the second one is the jars glass jars which is having wide opening the one in which our mothers used to store pickles most probably available at your home right now so for the production of narrow neck bottles blow and blow process is used and for the production of wide opening jars press and blow process is used okay so before understanding the process what we have learned till now Selection of the raw material, what are the raw materials, silica, limestone, collet, collet is nothing but the recycled glass. See I am repeating the name of the raw material and why I am doing so. See these kind of words we are not using in our day to day life. So my main objective is to push these words in your mind. So selection of the raw material, mixing of the raw material, transfer it to the furnace batch wise. The temperature is 1500 degrees celsius then molten glass is formed and for the purpose of shape formation it is transferred to refiner and for heart there are two process first for the narrow neck bottles blow and blow process is used for the wide opening jars press and blow process is used okay now understanding the process see this blow and blow process is very simple which is our main concern because we are talking about glass bottles in this process, the molten glass cuts with the help of shearing blade at this specific interval of time. And as you can see, then this gob, G-O-B, is guided to the blank mold. What is gob? After cutting this specific amount of molten glass, which is in the blank mold, is called gob. And here, the bottles comes into the shape and this partially formed bottles is called parison. See, parison is nothing but the partially formed bottle. This terminology, gob, uh, collet, parison, we have to keep in mind. The parison is formed by using compressed air. And to form neck finish and final bottle, the, this parison is flipped 180 degree. And again, air is applied to form the final shape. 
So basically heat and air is used for the formation of the final shape in the blank mold. Now from here glass bottles are made. Now all these bottles are sent to the annealing layer where they are again reheated at 565 degrees celsius approximately and then slowly cooled to 200 degrees celsius. But the question here is why? What is the need of that? See the meaning of annealing refers to the removal of the stress. So this step will eliminate the chances of the cracking and shattering. So this step is very important because we all know that glass bottles are very sensitive. Now after leaving the annealing layer, several coatings are applied which again gives further protection. Now the bottle is ready and here some of the quality inspection is done which is important. Okay so what we have learned till now, think like this. What we have to manufacture? Glass bottles. For that raw materials are required. And the glass bottle is made up of some kind of materials. And what are those materials? Those materials are collet, limestone, silica. Then these materials are mixed, then transferred to the furnace, batch wise, temperature is 1500 degrees celsius. Why such high temperature? To convert it into molten glass. Now we all know that glass bottles are having a specific shape and size. So for the purpose of shape formation, molten glass is transferred to the refiner and forehart. The molten glass is cut with the blade and after cutting, the specific amount of molten glass is called gob. Now because the glass bottle is having narrow opening, blow and blow process is used. Now glass bottles are made. But we all know that glass bottles are very sensitive. For that these glass bottles are transferred to the annealing layer and further coating is applied which further increase the protection of the glass bottles. At last inspection is done which is important. So if you are confused then I recommend you to watch this video once again. And if you like this video then come on like this video what you are waiting for. And if you are having any doubt, any confusion, any question, any suggestion which is important for me then comment down below I will surely definitely reply to all those comment stay safe stay at home take care of yourself take care of your family see you soon in my next video bye